What's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna be looking at a recent photo shoot that I did with my Nikon F3. So recently I've really been enjoying shooting a lot more black and white film. I've been developing myself and scanning myself and just been really loving the process and the results that I've been getting. I've been especially loving the results that I'm getting for shooting portraits. So when this shoot came around, I knew that I wanted to shoot a lot of black and white. Along with shooting black and white film, I wanted to try out one of my new lenses, which is this Voigtlander 58mm f1.4 Nocton. Um, it's a really beautiful lens and I really enjoy it and I'm gonna have a video coming up uh, fully dedicated to this lens, but for the moment, this video is mainly about the portrait shoot. So to start the shoot off, I loaded my camera with some Ilford Pan F. So as I got to the end of this first roll of film, um, I was really excited. We were having a lot of fun. The photos were looking like they were gonna turn out really good. And I've been really trying to improve my YouTube videos and how I'm filming. Uh, and in all of the excitement and the fun that I was having, I kind of made a little mistake, which you might've seen in some of the last photos that I've put up here up there. I forgot to rewind my film in my camera and I opened the back door and exposed it. Now this isn't the end of the world, it only ruined um, maybe four or five photos at the end of the roll um, and then burnt some light marks onto the others which some of them look kind of cool I guess. Um, but just goes to show that these mistakes can happen to anyone. I've been shooting film for at least six or seven years now and even sometimes I 
forget to do simple, basic things like that. So if it does happen to you, don't get too discouraged. Um, and just know that if you, unless you leave it open for ages and just expose heaps of light to it, most of the film's probably gonna be all right. It's only gonna be sort of maybe four or five actual shots that are ruined, um, and probably eight to 10 that have got some effect on there. Um, but yeah, generally it's kind of salvageable. So after making this mistake, I did want to shoot another roll of Pan F because I thought I wasn't sure how many of the photos would have been damaged. So I thought mm, I do want to have some more shots. Um, so loaded the camera up with another roll of Pan F and off we went. This shoot was flowing really well and I was shooting these rolls of film really quick. Um, towards the end of this roll, uh, we wanted to work on going in the water and getting wet, but obviously you want to do that at the end of the shoot because once the model's wet, uh, you can't make the hair not wet or the clothes not wet. So it's sort of a once it's done, you're committed. So for the last part of the shoot, I got Olivia to get in the water, wet her hair, wet the clothes, because I really like the results that wet clothes and the wet hair and the water on the skin uh, sort of give, especially when you're shooting black and white film. After finishing this roll of Pan F, um, I still wanted to shoot some more, even though I was going into my third roll for one shoot. So I threw some HP5 into the camera. Um, I don't like HP5 as much for portraits. I think it's a nice film, but overall I just really love the results that I get from uh, Pan F. But it was still good. I'm still very happy with all the results um, that I got with the HP5. Towards the end of the roll of HP5, we did a quick little uh, outfit change and put on a knit top and I wanted to do some nice little sort of 
close-up detail shots. I like the texture. I like the way that the light was affecting the knit texture with the wet hair and all that sort of stuff. And I think overall it gave, made for some really nice images. So I was incredibly happy with the results from this shoot. Uh, it was very successful, very fun. I really like this combo of uh, camera and lens, especially with the black and white. I think when you stop this Voigtlander down, it is incredibly sharp, very nice. And when you have it wide open, it has this real dreamy look, nice out of uh, focus areas, nice bokeh. Um, and I really like shooting this F3. So overall, this is a great combination. And Olivia, who was the model, did really well. Everything just absolutely worked out perfectly. This was a fantastic shoot. I loved it. So for the photos, I think I like the Pan F photos the most. Um, I just really love Pan F. I won't stop going on about it. I think it's a great film. The tonality, the contrast, just the way it renders in the shadows and the darks and the grays. It's beautiful, I absolutely love it. I also like the results that I got with the HP5. Um, I don't like it as much as the Pan F, but they were still very, very good. So let me know in the comments down below which were your favorite photos from this shoot. So if you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. I got a lot more videos coming out in the future. We got some with the F3, we got some with the Voigtlander, a lot more shoots, portrait shoots, medium format stuff, all sorts of things. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.